let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> hey, everybody. Take two. Uh, so yeah, welcome to the sales update. I was trying something new. Zahir did something really fun with one of his last videos, and we were trying to figure out how I could do it too. And so we'll see. <laughs> so yeah, and saying kittens says, I think people still are in the other one in the chat. So I dropped the link into the other chat. So hopefully they find everyone finds their way over here to the sales update. And again, I will try that later. It's a really cool um, feature where I can still screen share and be in the picture and do all kinds of fun stuff. So we'll see. Yes, this is the new one, Melissa. Uh, so let me say hi one more time to everybody real quick. Hi, Susan and Insane Kitten and Lindsay and Gina and Vintage Maid. Hello, Melissa in Nevada and Purple Lily. Yes, hi, Guillermo. All right, so let me get started with the sales update because that, that got a little a little bumpy. So I'm going to just do my normal screen share so you can see what's sold on eBay, Etsy, and then I'll talk a little bit about my merch numbers for the last week, and we will just go from there. Hello, everybody coming into the chat. Um, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, we, we've had some pretty bad weather, too. There's that big, long system that's, uh, <laughs> seems like it's coming, like it's from Canada all the way down into Texas. So, uh, okay. Hello, everybody. So let's get started with the sales on eBay. Uh, as you guys may know, my I have not been listing still. I've really been focusing on restructuring my business, um, starting over in my workroom, and just getting things focused. And it's been really good for me, um, taking the time off. So it's probably been at least a month that, since I've listed. I may have listed a, an odd thing here or there, but um, nothing like nothing really hardcore li with the listings. So um, the things that I've been selling are basically just things that I have still got listed in my store. Yeah, so that's been pretty nice. Um, but it, I'm feeling a lot better about restructuring things. And I, I popped a little video clip into um, my group, International League of Thrifters, and also in um, the Jewelry Lovers and Sellers group, showing kind of how I redid my jewelry and how I'm sorting my jewelry. And I will, when I'm done sorting in my room, I, ha I will have a start to finish, you know, progress of my work room and getting it all organized and stuff. So um, did we have tornadoes? I heard that some people had tornadoes. If it was here, because there's a lady that lives here, and she posted that in the middle of the night there were tornadoes. But I didn't get the update, so I'm wondering if she was out of town, maybe in San Antonio or Austin or something like that. So she may have been out of town. Um, I'll have to ask her. But yeah, we were we were supposed to get some pretty bad weather today. Okay, so here we go uh, with the sales. And if you guys have any questions in the chat, um, try to annotate them somehow. And oh dear, what have I done over here? Um, <laughs> so, okay, and let me know. So hello, everybody. Um, we've got quite a few friends in the chat already. 44 viewers hit the like uh, thumbs up button guys and we will jump right into it so uh, I didn't have a ton of sales but I also am um, one of my goals is to make between 200 and 250 a, a week on eBay and Etsy and and I pretty much did this week again so and I had a surprise you know one of those things that got returned sold again so I'm pretty happy with that all right, so this little thing, this keychain was in a jewelry jar, and it's just this <laughs> penguin, plastic penguin keychain. And I had it cross posted on eBay and Etsy because this was a vintage item. So this keychain didn't sell for this price. So I frequently have people ask me, why is your, you know, what it says sold for here different than what you say? And that is because if I take a best offer or if it's on sale, then the, the price will be a little bit different. So I put that I bought this for, I guess, about a quarter because it was in the jewelry jar. So I didn't find out exactly how, you know, I didn't average every single piece out. Um, so I would say it was about a quarter, maybe 50 cents, depending on how many things were in the jar. But I did take a best offer of $8 for this keychain. And so after shipping and fees and everything, my net profit there was $6.51. So that was pretty good. All right. I'm looking in the chat, make sure I don't miss anything before I move on. Hello again, everybody. Um, <laughs> and next up, I sold a tie bar. I love selling men's accessories. 
tie bars, tie tacks, cufflinks, that sort of thing. So this um, shield silver tone tie bar sold, let's see, I picked it up for a buck. It sold, I took a best offer of $9. So I know the price was significantly higher, but I was comfortable taking the $9. I don't have a, like I said, not a whole lot of sales going on. So it was okay taking the best offer. So after shipping and fees, my net profit was $7.01. So still pretty good. And then this is a coach mirror that I picked up. I think I got this at Jenny's garage sale and it still had the plastic on the mirror. So it was, you know, practically, well, new with tags. There you go. New with tags still had the covering protective layer or whatever. So I had this listed for 25 and it sold. Oh, it, it must've been on sale. So it was on sale. Um, picked it up for a buck and it sold for $23 and 39 cents. So after everything, my profit on this little mirror was $19 and 79 cents. Not too shabby. Let's see. Okay. Felicia said it took YouTube forever to refresh to find the new live feed. Okay. I'm glad you made it over. Yay. <laughs> I hope everybody made it over. Okay. And again, I'll try, you know, I'll get with here and try again. Um, he already texted me and told me he, he thinks he knows what happened. Okay, so next up, hang on, clicking over. I sold this Pokemon puzzle. And this is a puzzle that I picked up. Okay, hold on. I picked it up not this last year, not 2016 July, but 2015 July. But it took me a really long time to get it listed. I don't know why. It just did. <laughs> I, I bought a whole, whole bunch of Pokemon games and puzzles. Uh, when I went to the Green Room Meetup in Austin in 2015, so it's been a while. Uh, so this sold finally because I listed it. Um, let's see where did it go in my chat on here. I paid a buck for it. Uh, I took a best offer of 6.99 or no, I listed it for 6.99 because I was clearing out games and puzzles and things like that. So six, where did it go? 6.99, and so my net profit there was four dollars and ninety three cents. And I see a question in the chat. Let me stop screen sharing. See, the, the, pro, the program that Zaheer is showing me is I don't have to flip back and forth between screen sharing and not. Uh, so I can still look at you because I like to look at you when I'm talking to you. I just do. So Carol asked, did I find the black velvet material at Walmart? Um, I haven't been yet because my kids are home today. So we've been kind of all over. Yeah. Uh, yes, hit the like button. Susan says, hello. Okay, let me check one more time in the chat before I move on see if I'm missing anything. And I'm sorry if I don't, if I didn't get to say hi to you. Hi to everybody. Um, I've had quite a few complaints, I'm just going to say, about me saying hi to everybody so much. But it's, you know, it's just part of who I am and my channel, whatever. Okay, so next up. <laughs> so Pokemon Puzzle, that went well. Uh, two more sales on eBay. This Macintosh Rose um, Art Deco mug sold. It was really cool. This was uh, one of my grandmother's mugs. And so I paid zero for it. I have lost my spreadsheet. There it is. So I paid zero for this. It sold for $15, took best offer. Uh, we went back and forth a couple times, me and the, uh, the person. I think they originally wanted $9 and I went, kind of went back and forth a bit. So 15 bucks is what it ended up, ended up selling for. Um, and the shipping was a little bit off, so I may go back and, and refund some of their shipping because my net ended up being $17.19. So the mug was a bit, you know, it's, it was taller than a normal mug and a, a weird shape. So I think I may have uh, adjusted for that in the estimated shipping. So it was a little bit higher than probably should, probably should have been. Hi from the UK. Hi, Ruthie. How are you? <laughs> she says, I don't mind you saying hi to people watching. Yes, right. Melissa says it's called social media, not anti-social media. Exactly. But I tell you what, every time I go live and say hi to everybody, it never fails. I get, normally people are okay about it in the, in the comment section, but sometimes I, I, I've gotten some pretty nasty ones. I just delete them. But, you know, I saw, who is it? Ma, was it mom the ebay or one of the one of the other youtubers she saved them up and she read them out you know like maybe i ought to do that so people because i normally just eh, i'll just delete it because i don't want that negativity hanging around because i'll keep seeing it right because i try to respond to everybody and they'll keep popping up hey you didn't respond to me um 
So I just usually just delete them because I don't want to keep seeing it. Um, and yeah, but she saved them up and was like, I'm going to read these, <laughs> let you hear what people are saying. Um, Monkey says, uh, we'll flag them for you. Yeah, so there. <laughs> okay, so let me keep going. Uh, there was another sale on eBay. This, okay, let me get back to this window, close this one out. So this is another item that was in a jewelry jar. And I think this is one of those that I'm like, oh, let me just see if I can sell this bracelet. Just, it's one of those, let, let's see if it'll sell, right? Because normally I would see this and like, oh, I'm going to put this in a lot, whatever, you know. But no, I didn't. I, it sold. And I, I think I listed it maybe three or four weeks ago. So it hasn't been up there too, too long. Um, but I did, I took a best offer of $7.99. Either that or it was on sale, one or the other. So, so I paid, you know, again, it was in a, a jewelry jar. So I paid about a quarter for it. Sold for $7.99. So after shipping and fees, my net on this bracelet was $6.83, which I don't think is too shabby. I mean, I like for my profit to be $5 or more generally if I can. So for like a stretchy, you know, bracelet with the, yeah, so pretty cool. Uh, jewelry, you just never know. Uh, Jim, Jim, oh, Jenny says, Jimmy Fallon has famous people read bad tweets. I love watching that. I watch it. I can watch those on YouTube, like on repeat, you know, or like on a loop. Those mean, the celebrities read mean tweets. I love it. You know, not that I want to mean tweet people, but I just think it's funny, their reactions. It's pretty funny. Um, Gloria says, do I have a PO box address? I have something to send you from Scotland. I do. Yeah, it's in the info below. And speaking of that, thank you so much for reminding me. Where is it? I got some friend mail I was going to share. So um, Colleen, who actually won the jewelry jar giveaway. Oh, yeah, it was the jewelry jar giveaway last time. She uh, And I, as I was boxing it up, there was a rosary in there. And I said to her, you know, hey, when you list this rosary, let me know because I, I think I want to buy it from you. Uh, and so she sent me a really nice note and she sent the rosary back to me. I thought that was really sweet. The reason I, it looks a lot, it's not exactly like, but it looks a lot like my rosary that I had. I was married before. My, my first um, wedding, it, it got stolen, right? And so anyway, long story short, my rosary was like a mother of pearl, really pretty uh, rosary got stolen. And yeah. So it reminded me of that. So, yes, I, I was. It was very sweet of her to send that to me. So, where was I? Um, why don't they just forward through the hellos? I hate the mean people. Yeah, you know. And some people just feel like they have to say something. I get it because sometimes I'm like when I get mad, I'm one of the I'm one of those people that when I'm mad, this is off topic. Sorry, I can't hold it in. Like I can't. I'd rather just like let's just get it over with. Let's just get it out of the way and then move forward. You know, then it's done, right? Move. You can move forward and you don't have anything like hanging on and you're not, it's not eating you up. So I get it. Like some people feel like they just have to say something. You know, I'll just delete it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I think I missed something. Okay, maybe not. Do I have, okay, we answered that. Yes, we did. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna send you my deck. Okay, so let's get to the Etsy sale. So those are my eBay sales. My eBay sales totaled sixty-two dollars and twenty-nine cents this week. Not too bad. Uh, and here come my Etsy sales. Screen sharing again. So I sold this mug. Um, mugs are one of the things that I'm going to be continuing picking up and selling because the Return on investment tends to be really, really good. So I picked up this far side mug for a quarter. It sold for $18.99. And so after shipping and everything, my net profit is $16.38. Pretty good, pretty good. And then you know how I love the vintage gift wrap. So this gift wrap sold, and this was one that I was like, meh. I guess it's okay. Oh, I wasn't on fire about it, but that's, I have to remind myself, hang on, this is why I want this new program. So I don't have to keep stopping and coming back. Um, I have to remind myself that just because I don't particularly like it, or I may not have bought it, doesn't mean that somebody else won't see it and go, oh, that's perfect for what I'm looking for, right? So this vintage gift wrap, it was like foil, um, and it had like balloons and party stuff on it. So, you know, whatever. So this one, uh, paid again, paid a quarter for it. Where'd you go? Ah, uh, here we go. So paid a quarter. It sold for $14.99. Yes. 
And so my net after shipping and fees was $14.59. 1459. Okay, so um, again, if you'll notice, the fees are way lower on Etsy. I know I keep talking about it, and I'm going to drop the, um, hang on one second, let me stop and answer a question. Uh, I, I'll, I'll drop the link again, but I know I keep pushing Etsy's 40 free listings, but it's such a good deal, and so that basically you get to start on Etsy for free, and yeah, you, the fees are so much lower when you sell something. And Saint Kitten says, how do you tell if it's vintage? Well, one is usually like the print of it. The way it's packaged, they don't normally make wrapping paper like this anymore, where it's flat and fo like folded up. And the you know they used to sell it like that at Hallmark and all these other stores. And how else? Um, the the label, if the label's still there, sometimes you can tell by the the label. I don't know that this one had the label on it anymore. Maybe I didn't. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, let me show you the label. So the label had <laughs> that look. I don't know <laughs> if you've been to, to different stores. So here's the label. And it, sometimes they'll have the date on it. This one doesn't. But, yeah, American Greetings, Unique and Special, One Sheet. Blah, blah, blah. I don't see them selling selling it like this anymore as a flat sheet. So, But even, even so, on Etsy, even if, it's, even if it wasn't vintage, I could still sell it on Etsy because you can classify it as a supply, which can also be sold on Etsy. So people could use it to make a, something as their scrapbook or decoupage or something like that. So, let's take a peek. I thought I saw another question. Um, just gonna double check real fast. Okay, Myra asked, uh, I ha have you found any vintage jewelry with that greenish patina all over it? How do you clean it off? Um, I do, and actually in our jewelry lovers and sellers group, Bonnie just posted a link about how to clean, it's, there's a name for the green stuff and I can't remember what it's called, but she just po posted a link about how to clean that green stuff off. Um, if it's just the normal patina, you and I would leave it, but yeah. So if you're not in Jewelry Lovers and Sellers, go check it out. You, we have lots of really great people and lots of good information over there. Did you sell the vintage basketball player gift wrap? I found one. I, I didn't yet because I haven't listed it yet. It's in my box. I'm sorting everything out, so I can kind of, I'll show you down here. So I've got this little, that box with the blue lid down there. Um, that's got all like Lego booklets and vintage wrapping paper. And then I'm, yeah, so it's, I'm trying to get it all together. So, because you saw, if you saw how my workroom was before, I just took a pause to take care of business. It was just everywhere. Stuff was everywhere. So I was just, I'm trying to get to where it's like all my wrapping papers together. All of this is together. All of that's together. So when I focus on starting listing again, it's all there. So like, it's grab the whole pile. And I'm listing just all the same stuff to make it more streamlined. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I think it's the Michael Jordan one, I think is what you're talking about. Most of the papers are sold in the 70s, 80s. Oh, yeah. What kind of measurements do you include on jewelry eyeglass pieces? Um, it depends. I mean, the, the depends on the jewelry. I think I did a video about it. If not, I thought about it. Very degrees. Yes, but check. That's what it's called. Um, We'll have to talk about that later, Lindsay. I'm gonna I'm gonna copy that and then I'll um I'll have to answer that question later about what kind of measurements I do. Let me copy that right now so I don't forget because I will. There we go. <laughs> okay. How long do I keep something before I move on and scrap it? Just got some stuff that never sells. Normally I do the you know the lifey listed and forget it method like Jason does, um, but. Recently, I just said, you know what? I've got. I'm. I'm. Re I'm changing things up. But some of the stuff I've had, it, it's been up for three years. You know, so if it's a small item like jewelry or cufflinks or whatever, I mean, I might go through and adjust the listings or the pictures or yeah, or see, if, you know, what I need to do. So yeah, if some of the bigger stuff. Yeah, I did just say, okay, well, it's time to move on because I want space back, right? Um, digging you, I said, where can I go to learn how to remove green off of old necklaces? Well, um, if you join our jewelry lovers and sellers group, Bonnie just posted something about that, or you can Google it, you know, it's called Verity Grease. Bug Chick just uh, posted up, up above. And I had another question. Wait, you can sell supplies on Etsy. I thought it was only craft or vintage. Yeah, you can do, oh yeah, supplies, any kind of supplies, supplies that you would use to make anything. I mean, I I think you could sell any office supplies, he says. I think so. I mean, I think maybe. 
Where do you usually list your tie clips? It both, yeah, um, eBay and Etsy. Okay, I'm gonna screen share, and I'm gonna look real quick to answer that question about the supplies. Did I close out my, no, I didn't, okay. Here we go. So I am screen sharing back here. Let me take a peek real quick about supplies, just so I can answer your question, because that's a good question. Uh, clothing, craft and supplies, so here we go. I think it's supplies to make stuff, supplies and tools. But I mean like scissors is a supply, sewing and needle crafts, but look at all these different, you know, under that, there's a bunch of different stuff. Seal, stamps, tape, washi tape. I mean, just general supplies, paper, string. I mean, you could sell pine cones. That's a supply, right? Somebody's looking for pine cones. <laughs> you know, scrabble tiles, whatever. Okay, next up, I almost stopped. Okay, so here we go. This, you may recognize this. This is something that sold about three or four weeks ago. And last week, I can't remember if it was on the sales update. I think it may have been the sales update or on the Sunday show. Uh, I talked about how the buyer returned it. So basically, I had somebody on eBay buy this set, um, this you know um, tuxedo set, and another one. And I gave them a best offer. Uh, the best offer was for a hundred bucks. The other one was for fifty bucks. Uh, let me come out of screen sharing since you've seen it, and I can talk to you some more. So they bought these two. Um, the one that was fifty bucks, they opened a return for, and then a couple days later, I was waiting for them to print the the shipping label they never did and then they closed the return on it I was like, okay okay good right they didn't return it so then they left a comment like a um they left a review for this one that and it was like perfect it was excellent i love it blah 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 you know really great so they left a really great review about it and then a few days later they opened up a return for it and the return is like items not as described and it's scratched up and it you know it's, you said it was new and it's not new obviously bull i mean just really just tearing into it, like okay uh, okay so they returned it and they were perfect they were fine but whatever i re you know refund their money i listed them i think i was on the show and i was like oh i need to relist this cuz i saw it in my you know inactive listings and i relisted it and then it sold like two days later on Etsy for the full asking price. And let me show you what the, f or tell you, I guess I can't. Let me pull it back up. So the full asking price it sold for was, drum roll please, $169.99. So take returns. <laughs> you can always relist it, right? So um, paid up three bucks for it after shipping and fees. My net profit there was one hundred fifty-four dollars and fifty-two cents. I guess I could subtract the amount of shipping, you know, whatever three or four bucks for shipping to have it shipped back to me. But still, one hundred and fifty bucks. So yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Is that it? Is that everything? So I'm going to screen share my bookkeeping for this, and then I'll talk about my merch, my Amazon sales, and that will be that so here's my spreadsheet and I know there's probably an easier way but I had three sales this week on eBay of uh, Etsy that is um, for a total of hundred eighty five dollars and forty nine cents and then I had six sales on eBay for sixty two twenty nine so my total for the week was two hundred forty seven seventy eight and then these sales down here are ones that are sales from like haul videos. So a friend bought a Snape shirt from my Harry Potter loot crate that I decided I didn't want this particular shirt. Um, so this doesn't include, oh, this is including the shipping. So maybe about 10 bucks. A star bangle, I'm still waiting for the PayPal to go through on that. And then an Avon necklace from a jewelry unjarring uh, for 15 bucks sold, so pretty good. All right, let me stop there. Check the chat real quick and then we'll talk about my merch numbers. They like their name brands and okay, I missed something. Okay. Ah, oh, Didi. All right. Okay. Tying. I don't know what they're talking about, but that's cool. You're doing something right. Hitting home runs like that. Oh, thanks. Um, <laughs> yes. All right. So Merch by Amazon. If you're not familiar with Merch by Amazon, it is a print on demand um, service that is hosted through Amazon um, and it, you, you have to apply to get in and right now they haven't been letting anybody else in but hopefully they will soon because there's a really good opportunity there but if you are not Wednesday Jacob Topping is coming over to talk to us um, for our merch talk 
about different print-on-demand sites, and he's on a ton of different print-on-demand sites. So I'm excited to hear from him his take on all the different ones and what to do. So that way you can still get your shirt designs out there, maybe make a little extra money as well. So on merch, I'm just going to share my spreadsheet. I didn't open up. Bye, Kelly. Um, hey, Jeff, how's it going? So here we go. I am opening my application window and sing a little song about it. So here's my window. So January I sold 107 shirts for a total of $633. February, so far, I have not entered in what's today. So, okay, so I haven't entered in yesterday's or today's over here. So I, I keep track of how many shirts sold per day and the profits uh, so I can just keep track of it. So, so far this month, I've sold 78 shirts with a profit of $513. So not bad. Um, again, this is a short month, so it'll end here a few days earlier than normal, normal months. So pretty good. At the moment, uh, last year I sold 785 shirts. So far this year, 185. So total shirts sold altogether is 970 shirts. So pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll be talking more on Wednesday about our merch numbers and go there. Oh, January numbers were just posted. Oh, yay, Jeff. We'll have to talk about that. Did you get good news or bad news? He's got stories. So you'll have to tune in on Wednesday even more. Oh, and I should ask you, Jeff, you want to come on Wednesday too um, to talk about it? So, yeah, that's it. So I had pretty good numbers. Um, that return really helped. That return resale really helped. So... Uh, thanks everybody for coming over 80 viewers live. Oh looks good. Yay, Jeff. I'm so happy for you. Good 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 All right, so 80 viewers live go over there and hit the thumbs up button And if you would you know let your friends know come over and watch share my videos and things like that And if you're watching later leave me a comment down below and let me know how your sales have been going Minor okay, you know, I can't complain. So thanks a lot you guys and go out there and have a good day. See you later Bye